season four split around the corner, I thought I'd make a video giving you guys all of the information and news to help you get prepared for, as I like to call it, season 4.5. Now, this is the first time we are getting a very big update halfway through a season, and the first thing I want to speak about are the obvious things that most people already know, but I want to cover it anyway if any of you guys watching this video are unaware. So, there's a soft reset happening to ranked mode on March the 24th, and with that soft reset, we're going to be getting King's Canyon permanently added into ranked mode and that is the map that will take over World's Edge and that is the map that you're going to be playing ranked on throughout the rest of Season 4. The soft reset is going to set you back 1.5 tiers from your current rank that you're in. So my best advice is grind ranked as much as you can now before the soft reset happens so you could essentially counter the soft reset. Although 1.5 tiers doesn't seem like a big deal, it could potentially stop you from playing with friends. For example, if your friend is currently in master tier, they're going to be brought back to diamond, whereas if you're in, for example, platinum, you're going to be brought back to gold or silver, meaning that you can't play ranked with them because after you've reached platinum, you can only party with teammates that are one tier above you or one tier below you, and if they're more than one tier above or below you, you won't be able to party up with them, and that is the big party restriction that is currently in place. Now, the next thing I want to speak about, which is absolutely huge, it's breaking news the evo shields is remaining in apex legends not only is it remaining in apex legends but it's going to be available in ranked mode now the evo shield if some of you guys didn't know it's an upgradable piece of armor as soon as you pick it up it's only going to give you an extra 25 health on top of your base health but the more damage you inflict in enemies the more that shield is going to be upgradable and you could essentially get an extra 125 health on top of your base health which is 25 health more than the purple and gold body shield now we're just going to have to wait and see if this is the meta to be using in ranked mode or if it's better to stick with the gold shield i personally think the gold shield will probably be a better alternative to use because you have that faster heal off but at the same time if you can upgrade that evo shield early on in the match and you upgrade it to its full potential halfway through the game that could save your life in many situations so we're gonna have to wait and see how that's going to pan out but it's definitely a huge spanner in the works and it's something that pro players will have to start getting used to so once apex season 4.5 arrives i'm sure we're going to start seeing some teasers leading up to season 5 and i think they're going to start much earlier than the in-game leaks we've received in previous seasons now there are a lot of leaks suggesting season 5 is going to have loba and that is a very reputable leak loba should be joining us very soon some people even think that loba Bar, which is the new legends come in is going to come out on march the 24th when we have that second split of ranked mode now as much as i'd love for this to happen i think it's very unlikely that loba will be launched on march the 24th as there hasn't been much advertisement on loba there's been no leaks suggesting loba is joining us very soon but i could be completely wrong and it could be that they're going to surprise us with a new legend in that new split a lot of game developers have been going down that usual route of bringing out games and bringing out content with no hype at all or no advertisement and instantly stunning everyone that plays the game. That might be a route that Apex Legends is going down but as with previous seasons there's usually this massive build up and usually every few weeks there will be something within the map that suggests a new legend. We saw it with Crypto with his laptop and usually every week there will be a new addition or a new change in the map and it would be very strange if they just released a legend straight away with absolutely no hype at all. Now during ranked split 2 on King's Canyon you'll have the opportunity to earn some awesome animated badges. Although we don't know all of the rewards you're going to receive just yet we do know that there are some very rare animated badges you can receive by hitting the same tier that you hit in split 1 which was on World's Edge. If you manage to hit the same tier you're going to get a cool animated badge and if you manage to hit Predator both seasons well I guess you're probably going to have the rarest badge in the game as I think that is without a doubt the most challenging thing to do to hit predator in both splits is not something that many people will be able to do but if you're someone that has been grinding ranked mode for this first split if you reach the same tier the next splits you'll get a cool animated badge and that's something you can show off in game there are other rewards that you will be receiving as well but we just don't know what their rewards are until this new split launches so this is all of the information we have for the second half of 
season four. It's heavily ranked focused and a lot of the changes are mainly going to be in ranked mode. As far as I'm aware, World's Edge will still be playable through the standard lobbies, but ranked mode is only going to be King's Canyon. And there are of course speculations and teasers of other things coming out within this new split. But this is all of the known information. And if there's anything new, I'll be keeping you guys updated on the channel. So make sure you're subscribing with the notification bell turned on so you get notified on any new news regarding Apex Legends. One thing I can almost guarantee is that they're going to be releasing a lot of patches with weapons and characters. So I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on the latest weapon changes, character changes, buffs, nerfs, all of that good stuff. So be sure you guys are staying tuned. Thank you all for watching this Apex Legends video. As always, if you did enjoy and you want to support me further for free, be sure to scroll down, drop a like to support the video further. Be sure you're sharing the video with your friends and family and I'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new Apex Legends video. Bye bye.